Hey guys, Realistic Gaming here. Welcome back to another Roblox video. And today we're going to be reading a scary story called The Babysitter. As we can see, I got up here. So we can see the title up here, which is pretty humongous. <gasps> so that's the name of the story. And if you guys remembered, we also read the previous ones, which are Golden Arm, The Passenger, Hide and Seek, and The Babysitter. Wow, we're on The Babysitter right now. So let's go check this out. Oh, look, it's that guy with the funny mustache. What's up, my boy? Okay, so let's go in here and see what this scary story is all about, you guys. Oh, we got Jason getting lit right there. Okay, the babysitter. She's not alone. If she's not alone, then who is she with, man? Okay, it says Maria was so excited about her first night babysitting for the Crammers. Okay, so she's babysitting for somebody else. So let's see how this goes for Maria. Her baby sister Rosa watched her get ready for her new job. She was so proud of her big sister. Oh, look, she's getting ready. She's packing her stuff. And there's her little sister watching her. Okay, whatever. Let's continue on, you guys. Okay, Maria's mother drove her to the Crammers and dropped her off a few minutes early. Okay, so there she is getting dropped off. Wait. Oh, wait. It's an empty house. <gasps> okay, so she just got dropped off where she's supposed to go babysit, you guys. So let's see what happens next. The Crammers were happy to see Maria. Our phone number is on the fridge and you can help yourself to whatever food or drinks you'd like. Mrs. Crammer told her. Okay, so these are the Crammers. They're about to head out the door as Maria just arrived. Okay, so there's a little room there. There's nothing there. The children are upstairs asleep, so just check on them now and then. You can use the basement if you like. There's a TV and games to play, okay? Oh, so they got a little game room down there in the basement. I don't know if I would want to go to the basement alone, though. <laughs> Look at Jason. There's also a monitor down there, so you can hear the kids. We're so happy we found you, Maria. Then the crammer said goodbye and left. Okay, so there they go out the door, leaving Maria responsible for their children. Okay, Maria went directly upstairs to check on the children. They were safe and sound asleep. Okay, so there's two boys. She's taking care of two boys. Let's go over here. She went into the kitchen to get the phone number and the soda before heading down to the basement. Okay, so she got the number just in case anything happens, man. The basement had a large flat screen TV, a pinball machine, and some games. But Maria just wanted to go online. Okay, so she's down. Oh my god, why is there a scary clown down here? That is creepy. I would have been creeped out. Oh, look, Gaming with Kev's right there. What's up, Gaming with Kev? Oh, look, Spyro. Yo, they got a lot of cool toys here. Hey, it's not the oh, I thought it was a Toy Story ball, but it's not. Okay, so here she comes downstairs to the basement. Maria went online and began watching some videos while glancing at the monitor lights every now and then. Wait, is that a phone call? You're watching Gaming with Kev? Okay, so that's the phone number right there. Hey guys, so everything seems to be going well. After a while, she decided to play some pinball. She put the monitor on the pinball machine and started to play. Why do I keep hearing a phone ring? Oh my god, okay, so there she is playing pinball. Dude, the, the ringing is like getting louder. Okay, so she got a little too creeped out by the clown statue next to the machine. So she took the blanket from the sofa and covered the clown. I mean, that's pretty understandable. That thing looked kind of frightening, I'm not gonna lie. It was a little creepy just standing there. Okay, so the, oh, the monitor's going off. It's blinking red. The monitor light suddenly turned red and she could hear the children stirring. She went to go check on them. Okay, so something's going on with the kids upstairs. Let's go check it out. Okay, Maria quickly went upstairs to check on the children. Okay, they're good though. Oh my God, <laughs> you're just right there. Okay, so everything seems good. Um, I don't think anything bad's gonna happen so far. Thank goodness the children were fine. But just then Maria heard sounds coming from the basement monitor. What? Oh my god, that must be the clown. Oh god, okay. Maria carefully came down the stairs. Looking all around the basement, she didn't see anything unusual. Okay, so it wasn't the clown? Maybe the clown is just messing with her and messing with us. <laughs> oh god, okay. So she went back to the sofa when suddenly she noticed that the little piece of paper with the phone number on it was gone. Oh god, the phone number is gone, so she can't contact the parents anymore. Okay, so there's a clown. Okay, so the, it seems like the clown is just messing around with her. Maria slowly backed up away from the sofa and looked all around her. But nothing else seemed out of place. Oh god, is that the monitor again? Okay, let's go see what's going on, yo. I'm getting a little nervous. Rang, her cell phone rang. Startling her, she quickly went to the phone to pick it up. Oh my god, that phone is ringing like crazy. It's gonna drive me insane. It was the crammers just checking in. Maria was relieved. He told them that everything was fine and the children were safe. Okay, so that's good. That's a good thing they called her because she had lost the paper with the number on it. So now she has her number. 
Then she told Mr. Kramer, I hope you don't mind that life size clown statue by the pinball machine. It was a little too creepy for me. So I covered it with the blanket. Yeah, I mean, that's understandable. I would do the same, Maria. There was a dead silence for Mr. Kramer. Then he said, listen to me very careful. Don't speak. Just go upstairs right now and get the children out of the house. Oh God, what is he talking about? Okay, so it seems like Mr. Kramer is a little alarmed or something. We don't have a clown statue in our house. Run to the neighbor directly across the street. We're on our way calling the police now. Oh God, so that's not a statue? Is it like a person? Oh my God, okay, um, Maria ran like lightning up the stairs and raced to the children. Run for your life, Maria! <laughs> you gotta be quick, man. Okay, Maria made it outside the house with the children. Just as the police arrived, they were safe. Okay, so the cops got here pretty quick, man. Oh my god, there's a lot of cops. And there's Maria running outside with the children. At least they're safe. That's a good thing. Okay, the police told the Crammers what a brave and amazing person Maria was. Crammers were so grateful to Maria. But most importantly, everyone was safe. Okay, so what happened to the statue or the clown guy? That dude was just lurking in the house, man. We got this over here. Oh! Oh my god, it's a creepy clown. It's a clown statue, no! He's trying to hug us. And there we go. We just went, oh, wow. I'm already dead, man. <gasps> you can't kill me, buddy. Joke's on you, man. <laughs> okay, so wait. So what happened with the dude? Like, he, he was just there the whole time while Maria was babysitting the kids? That dude was just creeping on them, man. That was a little weird. But at least, that, like, nothing bad happened to the kids or Maria. Well, that's that. They were safe and sound, and the cops got there, and everything was good at the end. So this is like the first story where like the ending is good and like nothing bad and like happened they didn't die or anything oh rest in peace to jason right there all right you guys well thank you guys for watching thank you guys for the amazing support if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to slap the like button if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell on and i will see you guys in the next one bye